Alex Jones here for InfoWars Nightly News. Please pay attention to this special report and take notes because I want you to look at this research for yourself so you understand the fraud we're exposing. This is a major hoax against the health rights and the nutritional rights of not just the American people, but the people of the world. This is part of a Codex Alimentarius UN worldwide movement to restrict supplements and nutrients. Every year around Christmas, they put out these studies that are financed by big corporations we're going to break down in a moment. We have the proof saying you don't need vitamins and minerals. And the key words are if you get enough nutrition. That's like saying I don't need oxygen down here at sea level, but on top of Mount Everest, I'd die without it. If you don't have the nutrients, then you've got to have them. Now, Anthony's got a lot of intel on who's behind this study and the fact that they used GMO synthetic garbage from China and other areas for the study. But the big issue I want to show you first on screen is Scientific American with UT and federal studies going back over 50 years that shows massive reductions in the minerals and vitamins that are in the crops that are grown. In fact, we have a study by the Senate back in 1936 showing a 99% of Americans are nutrient deficient. So when they say that, oh, you don't need vitamins and minerals if you're getting enough of them, 99% of us, and it's a lot worse than it was in the 30s, are not getting it. And this is big pharma openly paying for all this to shut down people getting access to their own high quality products. Similar groups, we're going to cover that, have come out recently and said, hey, organic isn't any better than inorganic. S the same groups connected to the cigarette industry saying tobacco's not bad for you. So Anthony Gucciardi, you've got some of these articles and I've got some others I'm going to get to. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. When you're informed, it makes your temperature go up. I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, now specifically, not only are they saying, yeah, you actually do need minerals in all this meta-analysis and study, but the key thing here is that they've already found time and time again, synthetic variations of vitamins are worlds apart from actual organic food-based vitamins. Now, we can go back to 2011, and like you said, they do this every year. It's an annual attack around Christmas, before Christmas, September through December and January. Really. They're getting ready for the new year, people trying to get healthy. And the natural supplements industry and the organic food industry is going up and they know this and they want to attack it completely. So specifically, I wrote back in 2011, this is on Natural Society, it was up on InfoWars as well. The synthetic version of vitamin E is a petrochemically derived analog of natural vitamin E that is capable of disrupting uh, your syst various systems, whereas the natural form of vitamin E is effective against aging, oxidative stress, and hundreds of other conditions. And that was on record. And Cass Sunstein at the White House wants to make it the law that you don't need sun and that you don't need that vitamin. This was a preemptive strike, though, because in 2011 they were gearing up for this, saying organic food is bad, and going into supplements. But the reason this was written is to show, number one, synthetic forms of vitamins are way different than the actual food-based organic forms. But then number two, we can go into other research where it's actually showing now, yeah, all the main vitamins like the Flintstone vitamins, guess what they contain? Here's a, just a brief list. Aspartame, various sweeteners, hydrogenated soybean oil, GMO cornstarch. Folks should look into it for themselves. Yeah. Here's another example. How adding iodine salt resulted in a decade's worth of IQ gains. The feds ordered it in the uh, salt back in the 20s. IQ went up 15 points. Later, they ordered it out of the salt and out of the bread and added the bad bromines. Cargill and others behind anti-organic Stanford study. And it's some of the same groups connected to this new study. It is outrageous. Yeah, so specifically, we can look at the guy from Stanford who attacked organic food and said it's the same thing as GMO laden processed garbage food and that you don't have to spend more for organic because it's the same thing as GMO foods. And not only was he totally incorrect based on all the actual real science we have out there, but I went with Mike Adams and we dug up his history. Turns out this guy is literally known as the father of statistical lies. And he made this algorithm that you can lie about anything. And he was the one the Tobacco Research Council paid off these journalists $3 million in today's money to be silent about it and use this guy's statistical algorithm to show that tobacco was good for you and that cigarettes didn't cause heart problems or lung problems. And this is the same guy now attacking organic foods, attacking natural supplements. Absolutely. And Anthony, what's really bad about this is when you go to the organic food store, they have to put a label 
if they point out they don't have growth hormone in it, synthetic bovine growth hormone that's been connected to just you know, girls being seven feet tall and going into puberty early and all sorts of pituitary problems. The big industry lobbied government to make the FDA order them to say that we don't have this hormone, this artificial hormone, but it's not been shown to be dangerous. So if you want to say we don't have this in here, you have to grovel and say, but it's not bad. It's not bad. This is unbelievable. And now these same corporations are lobbying, so there's not mandatory labeling when something is inorganic or a GMO. And so it's the very same assault telling you that you don't need vitamins, you don't need minerals. It's incredible. Closing comments on this. The reality is that all these corporations are backing the researchers, the quote unquote researchers and scientists, like this guy, Dr. Ingram Olkin, who is getting paid off by big tobacco over and over again. Now he's saying that organic food is bad. Cargill, major lobbyer for Monsanto and GMOs, funding it all for Stanford. Over and over again, we see it time and time again. So look at who's behind all this. Do your own research. Don't believe us, follow the links. Uh, that are posted below here. Check out the articles that you've seen us show you and do your own research and make your own decision. I want to leave you here on InfoWars Nightly News tonight with a clip that they put out nationwide, but that also aired locally in Austin, where they had the Journal of Pediatrics in a government-funded study come out and say mercury is good for your child's brain. Organic's not good. Vitamins and minerals that are natural aren't good, but mercury is. Folks, they're teaching kids that 2 plus 2 equals 5. We know that's not true either. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics.